Hello everyone. Welcome to tutorial two of Catalon Studio. This is Saurabh Dhingra uh, from QA Tech Hub. In this tutorial, we are going to cover writing our first test case test script using Catalon. So if I talk about what is the agenda, so we are I'll be uh, taking you a walk. I'll be giving you a walkthrough of different views of Catalon Studio and then we'll be writing our first test case and we'll be executing that test case using Chrome browser. Okay, so let me quickly jump to the uh, Catalon Studio. So here if you see, uh, if you look at the screen, it's uh, very easy to use colorful UI it has. So if I look, uh, what is the main screen where we have to work? This is the main screen, Test Explorer. In that, if you'll see there are many folders or you can say headings are already there. So if you look at the name, uh, they are self-explanatory. First one is where we'll be keeping all our test case. Second is object repository where we'll be identifying all the elements and keeping them there. Next is uh, test suit. So test suit will be the one where we'll be creating test suit and uh, executing test case, calling test case, maybe sanity scenarios or uh, feature scenarios and all. So that is something which we'll be doing here. Next is uh, data files. So data files is where you will be keeping your test data if you have to do multiple test but mul uh, mul if you have to test your application with multiple test data just like data driven testing then we have checkpoints which i'll be explaining you later then we have keywords so keywords i'll explain here we can write our custom keywords and then we have reports reports will be available once we'll start with test suit for today's class uh, for this tutorial i'll be creating only test case I'll not be creating any test suit so we'll be executing test case only and there will be no report generated for that but going forward in upcoming classes we'll create test suits as well and in that we'll be uh, writing our test case in such a way that reports will also be generated okay so this is a brief introduction to all the screens now uh, going forward I'll be explaining each uh, each of these in detail for now let's start with the test case so first of all I'll create a simple test case so just right click on this folder new and test case and name it let's say um, maybe QA tech hub uh, login or invoking maybe QA tech hub is the name of the test case uh, invocation let's say this is the name I have given now uh, when you open it you will see a screen like this which is quite similar to Excel sheet there are a couple of views which you have to work on so the first view if you see is the manual one I'll write some scripts in manual and then I'll show you the script uh, view as well then we have variables where we'll be creating certain variables if I want to use which we'll use later on in this uh, in the later tutorials then we have integration properties which I'll take later on so first we'll discuss these two screens so the first screen which is manual screen on this manual screen if you'll see it's an excel sheet and uh, here there is a button called add if you click on this drop down it gives you many options okay like it gives you web UI keyword mobile keyword then web service keyword custom keywords and so on so there is a long list right so I'll be starting with the very basic and my first step is that I'll just invoke my browser maximize it then we'll navigate to a particular URL in this case I'll be navigating to qatechhub.com then I'll be getting the title of that page uh, writing a small assertion to compare the title and then I'll close the browser that's what I'm going to do so here uh, I'm going to deal with all the web UI related stuff right mobile will take care once we'll do the mobile automation for now I'm not going to mobile automation I'm just focusing myself to this web UI uh, automation only web application automation only so I'll be selecting this web UI keyword uh, let's select this and if you see something has added here if you see at the right uh, at the right there is a drop down just click on it and you will see that there are lots of uh, options available in this drop down 
right so all these options which you see are actually the methods which are implemented uh, in selenium so they have given everything in just one line okay so for example uh, in the start I want to open the browser so I'll just type open browser and you can see that open browser is selected just select that and after that there are many uh, columns in it the first column is object second is input third is output and fourth is description here object I for opening browser I don't need any object so I'll just keep it empty in the input if you just double click on it it will open a screen like this where it expects one input from you what is the name of the parameter which it wants it wants this row URL that is the URL what is the param type its string okay so these are non editable if you see these are non editable this one the value is an editable so you can uh, here is a drop down so you can basically take any one of the option so for now I'll just keep it string I'm not using any variable or global variable or anything else I'll be keeping it string simple string and from here you have to give the URL now recall the time when we used to uh, write get in the get method we used to write the URL we always used to give the protocol as well HTTP colon double slash then qadacup.com remember but here it's not mandatory if you'll not give HTTP then it will add in it on its own but if you'll give it then it all then also it is fine so currently I'll give a URL uh, this protocol and just after this I'll show you without that as well so here you can simply say qatechhub.com and click on OK then after that this is my first step I'll just open a browser where I want it to navigate to this website do I need any output no this is not going to give me anything so I'll just keep it as it is then description so what you can add in the description what this step is doing that is what you can add here like I can simply say opening a browser and navigating to QA tech hub site that's all I just click on OK you can see that description is added so this is my first step which is added okay so if you go to this script click on the script view you will see something like this the first line which you see is the description then there is a class called web UI this is something which Catalon provides us and uh, if you see there are lots of import commands are also coming let be them there because uh, whatever class file is available we are not sure of so Catalon has by default provided us all the class files so these are the class files which are there in uh, in Catalon and here one of the class is web UI okay if you say web UI dot open browser open browser is one of the method which expects one variable called HTTP colon double slash qtechhub.com if you look at here I don't need any semicolon at the end yeah so this is uh, this is one of the uh, one of the view so either you can write your scripts in manual view where you get drop downs or you can write your scripts in script view as well okay uh, like here if I want to write the next step what I'll do I'll say web UI dot if I want I can write the next method let's say I want title of the window uh, once this this is op open maybe next step I want is maximize so I'll simply search for maximize here maximize window okay no need of putting any semicolon at the end if you want you can keep it uh, put the semicolon it will not give you any error if you'll not give then that's also it's fine okay then next step I want is let's say I want web UI dot I want to get the title of the page so I'll call get window title this is the method which is there and the class is web UI so I'll say this and one more thing uh, if I go back to this manual view you can see uh, the steps which I have added 
that are already coming here see maximize window as it does not need any input parameter or output parameter so it, all the other parameters are all the other columns are empty look at the third line we are saying get window title now the title what we are getting we want it uh, in some output variable right so there is an output option here I'll just go and double click on it and give some name say for example I'm just giving a name title of the window this is one variable name I have given and everywhere I'm following the conventions of Java so you can see the variable name is starting from small and so on okay so if I just click enter and if you go back to the script view you will see that a variable is created with name title of the window and equal to web UI dot get title something like this is coming okay so this is uh, this is what it will do it will just store the title of the page of the of the window in this variable okay next step I want is let's say I want to put an assert statement so I'll just say assert statement and here you have the option like what do you want do you want uh, this boolean or something else so if say for example I want it to compare with with a variable so I'll just put a variable click OK okay if you come here uh, here is the assert statement right so here I can simply say title of uh, I can simply say title of the window equal to and here you can give with what you want to compare it so again this is a small syntax of assert now here if I go to that QTech up site if I go to QTech up website and get the title so the title is QADEC Hub, then a pipe, and then again QADEC Hub. So if I, if you want to check the exact title, I'll just press F12 on this browser, and we'll go to HTML, and in the head section, you will get the title. So I'll just copy this title, okay, and we'll put it here. So this is one assertion if you'll go back to the manual screen you will get like this so you get two screens to uh, use one is this manual screen and second one is script screen initially you will like this manual script manual screen because everything is in drop down but I'm sure going forward you will start look li liking this script screen because this script screen is easy to use here you can use copy paste and things like that but here it's quite difficult uh, so yeah I mean it's very easy here not difficult my bad it's very easy here but it's time-consuming so here I have also added one assert statement now we are ready to run one small script so how will you execute it here if you'll see there are two options one is run option and second is debug option debug option will see later currently I'll show you run option so there is a drop down in the drop down click on that and here if you'll see we have options to run it on Chrome browser on Firefox if you directly click on this run button it will execute on Firefox why because that is the default uh, option available then we have Internet Explorer Safari Edge then remote headless Android and you can have your custom browser as well for us now I'll be running it on only on Chrome going forward I'll show you uh, execution on Chrome and Internet Explorer as well currently I'll just click on this Chrome browser and what it will do it will execute the step which you have mentioned in the in the manual script so I'll just click on Chrome and you can see it is launching the test case here if you'll see some of the screens is opened up first one is which will tell you what is the job progress that what exactly is running here we have logger view uh, if you see browser has actually invoked it invoked on the second screen so I'm just pulling it out here now here uh, I'll show you other screen let it get execute just give me a minute so you can see that it has invoked the QA deck hub 
I've not written any command to close the browser or anything so everything will remain open so here you can see uh, there is a logger view if you just expand that logger view here you get a drop down and it will mention you which step is executed and uh, what is the status of that step whether it has passed or failed so you will get a green tick if it is passed you'll get a cross if it is failed so here even it will give you the steps which selenium is using so you can uh, see i have called open browser it's starting the chrome driver uh, then uh, logging runtime session id something some session id it has added then browser which browser you are running which is the platform what is the selenium version so you can see that the selenium version which catalon uses is 2.53 this is the latest maybe going forward they'll uh, add selenium 3 as well then it is calling the method navigate browser and so on maximizing the current window then getting uh, current windows title and then at the end it is putting an assertion so here you can see the status is passed that means assertion was passed the same view which you see in the logger view uh, quite similar to it you get in console it's just that here you have uh, different steps like uh, it is shown in the steps and if you double click on it that step is will come here will give you some extra information but here everything is in small a simple written statement so you can observe that in the logger view whatever steps are being logged here all of them are also getting logged here okay so you have two screens to debug one is this console view and second one is the logger view i like this console view better i find this better uh, here you can see every step is mentioned but if you start liking this this is also very good so this is a small script which i have executed now uh, in the next tutorial i'll be uh, giving you introduction to object repository so if here if you can see uh, we have uh, if I just click on this we have object repository we have test suit data files and any money more so I've just written one small state uh, small test case where I was just navigating to QA tech hub and in the next tutorial I'll start with object identification so maybe we can use some of the website where we can add uh, where we can interact with the web elements okay now here in this script if you want to add uh, maybe if you want to add one more step that is after this you want to close the browser so you can just click on this add and then here you can write close browser so it will close the browser and here if you go to chrome here if you there is one more benefit which you get in Catalon that is if you recall in Selenium every time you run one session you cannot proceed with the same but here there is an option where you can proceed with an existing session so here there is an option of clicking on new session or there is an option of just clicking on the existing uh, session so maybe this existing session I'll give you a demo later on currently I'll just invoke another session I'll just close the already existing one going forward I'll give you one uh, scenario where we can run on an existing session as well so I'll just click on new session it will again invoke the browser and will execute all the steps so here you can see in the log view it is doing all the steps again the browser will get invoke on the second screen so I'll just pull it here So you can see it executed all the steps and at the end it closed the browser and if I go to the logger view here is the console so in the console you can see all the steps were executed okay so at the end it closed the browser as well so that's all in this uh, particular scenario in this particular tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be taking up object identification thank you so much for joining see you in the next tutorial